What's up, my dudes? It's about to get dirty. <laughs> We're running 20 laps on Glen Helen with the full rain mode on. This is not that intermittent shit, so we're about to see what happens here. I've never rode more than five laps on any track before. Uh, so, yeah, I'm wanting to get on here and kind of test out what the terrain deformation system does when you get a lot of laps in on a track and sort of how the rain affects it once you get that many laps in because... I have no idea, man. I don't know what's going to happen, but I have the AI difficulty on the, like, realistic or whatever, the maximum it'll go, so I've also never rode with them on that difficulty, but I've got it on 20 laps here, so <laughs> I should be able to catch back up, maybe, possibly, probably not, but, um... What's so funny about this Glen Helen in the mud like this is if you crash on one of these uphills, you literally go like a quarter of a mile an hour fast when you start going back up the hill. It is hilarious, dude. And you'll see the AI over there just spinning out, going like barely going up the hill. Oh, it cracks me up, dude. But uh, yeah, it's so weird going from MX Simulator and then going back to this game and then going back to MX Simulator, and then coming back to this game again, it's like your brain has a lot of trouble keeping up with it, so um, that's why I'm kind of just a little bit not quite as quick right here at first, but I'm not really worried about it because I got plenty of lap skis, dude. <laughs> we oh, that little, <laughs> that little rascal. Oh, wow. I hate when that happens. It, like, just barely catches you in the wrong angle, and you're gonna go down. Um... But yeah, so I'm planning on what I'm going to do is just like run the first probably like five laps and then I'll skip to probably like lap 10 and then I'll skip to lap 15 and then I'll skip to lap 20 so that this video is not an hour long uh, because the track I think is somewhere in the neighborhood of probably like two minutes long and 2 times 20 equals 40, definitely not 60, but um, I'll be running way slower than 2 minute lap times anyway, so um, it adds up either way, but uh, yeah, man, that the way you whip in this game, it's so bizarre when you go back to MX Simulator if you have your stuff set up like Reflex because you start actually whipping an MX Simulator like you do on this game. I am getting slayed. <laughs> Oh, wow. This is going to be rough, man. Um, when it's got the wet track like this, you got to be so much more careful in the corners. You cannot just hammer it wide open. I'm in dead last right now, dude. We need to pick it up a little bit. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. Collision. Yeah, I have no idea how difficult this... Uh, this actual realistic difficulty is, but they're already gapping me here. I know I crashed like 25 times on that first lap, but um, yeah, it's cool to see that the wetness definitely makes a... Oh my goodness! What the heck was that, man? I wasn't expecting it to do that. Oh, wow. Okay, well, we're in 22nd place, but it's all good. We'll catch back up. I, I wanted to make sure I didn't, um, you know, just pass everybody and get in the front because that would be a real boring 20 laps. So uh, that was kind of my biggest concern there. But yeah, going back to MX Simulator and whipping like you do in this game, it does something weird with your brain where whichever motocross game you're playing on and whatever controls you're using in that particular motocross game you just like automatically start doing it no matter what motocross game you're in. Um, so if you guys don't see me whip very often in this game, that's because I'm trying not to get my mind confused um, whenever I go back to MX Simulator. So um, at, at least when I'm on the day of a pro race in MX Simulator, I don't want to get my mind too messed up. So um, it really does that. Like it has a certain degree of just absolutely jacking up your head. For some reason i don't know how it's that capable of doing it but like it is just it requires such a mind muscle memory with all of that stuff that any one little change up of any of it and it just like explodes your brain as far as like the memory of everything so um yeah you can see some of these inside ruts i gotta be real patient on some of this stuff but uh 
Let's see. So, uh, I've only rode on like four or five of the tracks in this game so far, so I still have a lot of experimenting to do with it, but uh, should be pretty fun. And uh, yeah, also, I just wanted to say thank you to a lot of my fans out there. There, I mean, there's no words I could ever say that would ever explain. I mean, I'm just a normal guy. When people come up to me in a server, I mean, I get a lot of hate too, and I understand that, but like, when people talk to me in a, just a random server and they're like, oh wow, Spencer Turley, I really love your videos, man. Keep doing what you're doing, something like that. It's like, dude, I'm just a normal guy. Like, <laughs> I never thought anybody would ever think I was cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I mean, I guess I always knew who I was and what I was, but... As far as, like, ever actually having a fan, I just never imagined it, I guess. I don't know. It's the craziest, coolest thing that, that'll ever happen in my life. I can promise you that much. So, anyways, yeah, I just want to say thanks to all you guys. Um, it definitely, whenever I see messages and stuff like that, it's like, yes, dude, this is what I'm supposed to be doing right here. This is it, man. And all the hours I spend on custom tracks and just the hours I spend on videos in general... Um, a lot of people don't understand how much time goes into just straight up editing and then the other five hours on actually uploading the video and that's if everything goes perfectly right, you know? Um, so yeah, it's just, I mean, you definitely spend your whole life on it, but it's all worth it whenever you got fans like that. It's just like, wow, dude, that's crazy. And, and, uh, some dude was telling me in a random server, like, yeah, man, um, I'm a big fan and all this, and I was like, thank you, dude. It means a lot. You know, you'll never understand. And then some other dude was right there, and he was like, hey, Spencer, I watch your videos, too, with, like, a smiley face. I was like, oh, my God, dude. <laughs> this is crazy. It's just like, I, I, I can't believe it, man. The, the, I don't know. There's just no words to even come close to explaining it. So it's like, all I can just say is I appreciate it. Uh, it, it, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, man. I don't know. It's just, it's when you get to this stage, um, if you ever get to this stage, you'll understand what I'm talking about. But like just having somebody that would even, you know, take time out of their day to say thanks to me for doing everything that I do. It's like, oh my gosh, dude, I have to keep doing this like forever, man. There, it just, I have to. So, uh, Either way, uh, back to the video here. Just had to do that. And I'm going to start thanking you guys a lot more because it's just, I, I definitely don't do it often enough. And uh, I don't know, man. It's just like every day I'm getting more and more fans and it just kind of gets bigger than my own brain can handle. I mean, I still kind of have it in my head like I have three or four fans, you know, but it's just not like that at all. Um, when you just randomly go to an MX Simulator server and there's like five people saying they're your fan, it, that just blows my mind. I, I, Sorry to some people that this probably sounds stupid to. It's like, okay, Spencer, shut up. We understand you have fans. It, it, to me, I'm just a normal guy. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, I just never thought I would have ever had any fans. So, But anyways, crazy cool thing. Um, YouTube's the coolest thing ever, but we're just chilling back here in le dead last place, dude. <laughs> Oh, wow. So, uh, just trying to see how some of these lines develop. I know this track right here has some of those rut lines even without the rain mode on. So, uh, so here we are on lap five. Yeah, you definitely have to be a lot more patient just in the flat corners as well when it's this wet. I think it kind of depends on what track you're on too. That corner right there is really tricky. Um, when you get a little bit of like an embankment and an inside rut and it's slick and wet that's where you got to be like ultra careful mode alrighty then here we are on lap 10 so I'm trying to find a little bit of my throttle control on this track right here I don't know how much it would actually make it easier to ride on if I had my mud skill and my throttle control actual skill maxed out in the game I don't know how much that would actually help uh, the situation here but <laughs> Yeah, dude, some of these insides, oh my word. There is just no way you can hit them, which is really, really cool. I love how it makes it to where it actually, like, makes you, ha forces you to pick different lines. That's what I was really wanting to see in this game. Um, and it definitely does that, no doubt. As far as, like, actually making 
more ruts or deeper ruts, uh, I don't know if I can really say that or not. It, it's almost like it's just making more mushy, mushy dirt is pretty much all it's doing. But, I mean, it is a rain track, and that's pretty much all they ever do on a rain track, you know? It just gets more slimy, more slick. It's not like it actually makes more ruts, per se, uh, if that makes any sense at all. But, yeah, some of these insides are definitely getting worse. I could tell, like, right between the difference of lap... I would say five and onward, those insides just became completely unviable. I'll try to go into them up here and I'll show you guys. So like right here, you have to be super patient coming around here. It'll just straight spin up, spin out on you pretty quick. Uh, all right, lap 11, probably about to get lapped, but that's okay. Um, I'll definitely know not to have it set on realistic difficulty next time uh at least until i get my skills raised up a bit but you can see how slow and patient i'm having to go through some of those insides you cannot just hammer it i can promise you that much but um that's cool to see that the difficulties you know the actual the most extreme difficulty is pretty extreme um, I was definitely glad to uh, see that i was also that was a part of this video as well as i was just trying to kind of test out how difficult they really were going to be, and ever since I got in dead last, I've stayed in dead last, and I've not even seen 21st place, so you can see them out there in the distance, but yeah, man, I don't know like how, I guess they just never crash, I don't know, I've not seen a whole lot of crashes where they actually like show up on the, down there on the side of the screen, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, the mud, Definitely, uh, you know, the difference between just having the mud track versus the normal uh, dirt version of Glen Helen, I'm sure is like way different. So that was really cool to see that as well. But yeah, man, great graphics on this game for sure. All that off track stuff looks good. Um, and I don't know what it would do on ultra graphics. I'm sure it looks, you know, twice as good, but oh gotta hit the brakes Spence gotta hit the brakes I'm pretty sure they're probably right on my ass bumper so <laughs> I'm I'm definitely more so looking behind myself than I am in front of myself here just trying to see if I'm about to get lapped but definitely a lot more video potential on this kind of stuff here but yeah as far as just the the rain and the how much it did over the 12 laps Honestly, I haven't really been able to tell that big of a difference from like lap five onward. It's all just been kind of that, <laughs> you can see it right here, just like straight up mush dirt. It just doesn't really dig much more than that, and I kind of doubt it will. And that's kind of what I was figuring it would do, which is not that big of a deal. Like I was saying before, that's pretty much how rain tracks are anyways, but you can see how much faster that outside line was right there, but... Um, yeah, if you guys don't see me throwing nasty scrubs and whips in this game, you know why now. Um, dude, I'm about to get lapped. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm gonna try to take out the leaders. Oh, wow. Okay, let's see. This little tricky some bitch corner right here. Um, but yeah, dude, overall having a pretty fun time, solid time on this game. I know a lot of people are playing it right now. But um, I will be back on like lap 18, 19, 20 to try to wrap it up a little bit.
And either way, appreciate you guys watching the video. Later, dudes.